Let's compare a thin-necked lightsaber to a standard lightsaber. So a thin-necked lightsaber just basically means that the neck portion of the lightsaber is thinner, but there's a little more to it than that as well. So you'll also see that the emitter part of this lightsaber is quite a bit shorter, and so that means that not all blade plugs will work with it. For example, I have a blade plug right here. It's two inches long, and that's that's way too big for this lightsaber, so you need to always check that out if you're getting a thin neck saber. And also the lightsaber blade only has a, it has kind of a smaller spot to sit in as well compared to a regular lightsaber. So there's that. And finally, if you're planning on doing the lightsaber build yourself, it just can be a little bit trickier to maneuver with a thin neck lightsaber. Just you don't quite have the same access as with standard lightsabers. So those are some things to consider, but nevertheless the thin neck sabers are quite popular because they're modeled after, like this one is modeled after the A New Hope Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber, and this is a Corbinth K4 saber kit. And another common inspiration would be the Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker lightsaber, also thin necked and a lot of different custom sabers, saber makers will produce the uh, Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker lightsaber too. So anyway, that's just a quick look at a thin-necked lightsaber like this K4 by Corbinth versus just your standard necked, <laughs> if that's a thing, your standard necked lightsaber. And this is an Ultra Sabers Initiate before.